So here we're going to be giving scientific terms. One way, this is a description. What is an organism that is capable of both heterotrophy and photosynthesis? Anyone? The, the, an organism that is capable of both heterotrophy and photosynthesis. The second one is the, the inter, I almost said the answer. <laughs> the inter, okay, somebody said a plant. The inter layer of the, <coughs> sorry, of the comb, cortex in a plant. So the answer here is, 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 how do I put this less like this? It's actually a my, mesotrope. It's a mesotrope, an organism that is capable for both heterotrophy and photosynthesis. It's mesotrope. And the next one is the, 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 the the innermost layer of the cortex in plants roots, a cylinder one cell thick that forms the boundary between the cortex and vascular cylinder. Anyone? Remember, it's still zero. You guys are still in, in, in zero. One. So the, the answer here is endodermis. Endodermis. Did you want to talk about this, this, this terminology? No. Did we? You don't remember talking about this? No? Yes? The, the use of living organisms to detoxify and restore polluted, degraded ecosystem. I remember this, this when we were talking about this. What is this? Where they detoxify themselves. And 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 do this. It's called bio bio remediation, bio remediation. And this one, this one we know the 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 the, the oval producing reproductive organs of a flower consisting of a stigma of a stigma of the following consisting of stigma style ovary. What is it? Anyone? So this will be a a a a a a a, a, a carpel. This is there in a in a in a in a life cycle of the of the of the of the moth or when we're talking about. Then what is this? The sorry sorry, a group of plant like protists that is most closely related to plants. Which one is this one? So that will be a a a a a a. a a charophyte, you know, when we're talking about bryophytes, charophytes, and all those things. A type of membrane enclosed nucleus and membrane enclosed organelle. At least you can just give a, a guess here, a scientific guess. Come on. Also, check out your chat box. There's an announcement there. An important BLG 1502 examination, BLG 1502, will be written on the 3rd of June at the 1000 time online non venue based visit UNISA Center Computer Labs. Supervisors will assist with online examination training on the exam system. Visit any UNISA Center to connect to the UNISA Wi Fi for your exam where you are assured connectivity. You can check that. But back to our, our question. Anyone with a one word term? If I could give you a clue, it's a cell. What kind of a cell is that? There we go. Uh, he so said you carry it. Anybody else? Anyone else? Put it. Anybody else? I give the answer in five, four, three, two, one. I'm giving the answer. Actually, Hakiso is correct. Yay! Hakiso is correct. It's it's actually eukaryote. It's eukaryotic cell. So you might actually Hakiso need to when you answer. Actually, give it in a, in a in a full and say eukaryotic cell, so that the uh, the the person who 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 might be 
I'm making your exam my sometimes it don't, it's not necessarily your your lecturer but the, those people who are assigned to make the paper so if they are looking at the memorandum they might just say if say nah she didn't say sell and they decided to make you wrong so you might actually need to 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 to, to describe it in 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 full and in that then the other one is uh, the fluid outside uh, 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 uh. Sorry about the outside the thylakoids. Which one is that? Um, the stroma. Stroma. Okay. Anyone else? answer will, will shock you. It's actually the chloroplast. Remember I told you that sometimes if you just need to, 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 to when you're read, reading the, the, the plant cell and animal cell, your examiner might not necessarily give you the disc to ask you the description in in a sense that you can be, be 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 expecting or in a very much formative way or the the, the the obvious way you might actually just describe it as a function and say that the, the thing that is the fluid outside the thylakoids which is actually something that you may not even think of describing it it's, it's a very rare description of 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 of, of chloroplast that one so let's go to the other one. This one you wanna know. This one I'm sure. Let's see how you're gonna you're gonna get it. A long cellular proto, proto, protuberance that develop sperm to the female gametophyte. Anyone? I'm not trying to go too fast, but rather I just want us to to cover a lot of a lot of things. And please don't don't overthink, don't overthink. Just 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 lay it there, because at the end I will end up giving you the answers so that we don't we don't we don't we don't we don't stretch one question so that we actually try various number of questions. Somebody said flagella. I said flagella. Somebody else. Here's another question. The first one you said flagella. Somebody said urethra. Anyone else? Anyone else? Flage oh, the stroma is the last one, flagella, urethra. Anyone else? Can I have a third one? Then I will. It's actually surprisingly. So the long cell lapid that delivered the sperm in the in the in the in the in the in the female gamete is actually the pollen tube. So the 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 the, the, the prototurbans is just another term to just mention the if you can Google this. So it's, it's a tube. Is the another sort of like a description to describe generally a tube in a way. Then what about the transfer of pollen from one from an impact to a stigma? You know this one. Come on, guys. That's a term that you know. That's a concept. A bee, a bee going to a flower. What is it? These are the easiest one so far. Yay, Vanessa is pollination. Yes, you are right. And the next one.
You got it right, this one. This one, you got it right. Let me put it like this so that I can show it that it's in blue. This one, you got it right. <laughs> yeah. And the joint evolution, the joint evolution of two interaction species in each response to selection imposed by the other. Try, try to see the word joint. The word joint. And, 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 and try to realize what does it mean? What does the word joint mean? But the rest of the statement, it is what you're thinking about. It's, it's exactly what you're thinking about. It's exactly the concept that we talked about. But the description is actually in the word joint. Anyone? You know this one. And just for an advice, right? Never, never, ever think that you are not trust your instinct. You know this thing. You you know this, and you are aware of these things. And whenever you go something wrong, do not beat yourself up and be like, ah, I'm useless. I don't know. You know this is just that you didn't maybe trust your your evil your 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 your, your instinct. Yay! Let's see how you got it. It's core evolution. Exactly that. That's what we're talking about. It's core evolution because the whole concept is core evolution. So the the, the 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 joint is the one that described that the whole thing is a core evolution. So well done, guys. You you're getting this this. The next one, the creating of 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 of. of so um, uh, while we're going, right, we're going to be doing this, 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 this. Okay, how will this differ? That's a good question. How will this differ to natural selection? Core evolution, because they're saying uh, 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 the joint evolution of two interaction species, each in response to selection imposed by the by the other. It's core evolution. So, so, so this uh, species, their interaction with each other, the um they are the 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 there's an interaction where there is a response to it's like you and you hakiso and latoya so latoya is having an evolution she's going through the changes their species the latoya species is 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 changing but because you and 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 latoya are next to each other you just for some reason develop some changes because the, the, you, you, you are close to Latoya and then you also for some reason somehow you change, you change in color, your species also change in color because because Latoya is changing in color, Latoya change in size, you also change. But natural selection, natural selection is a concept where you and Latoya on the other hand, you are in competition. So in natural selection, when the environment around you changes, if you don't change, and Latoya change and she adapt, she has some adaptation and traits that can make her survive. If she develops fingers, because you are in a in a rigid and a dry area, she develops some fingers and beaks which can be able to she can go and 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 hunt and be able to eat food which are hard. And you are still a soft, a soft, a soft, a soft um a, 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 a organism. You won't be able to, to your species, you won't be able to pass into the next generation because you don't have traits that are adaptable to the next environment. So if you your mechanism, you don't have mechanism to hide for your for your for your predators, all the predators or the enemies will eat all your species alive. But if Latoya have some 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 mechanism, remember we made an example of those two 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 two. two, two two mouse, the one which changes color, the one that change color depending on where they are. But if you have only one color and your color, it sets you apart. You have white in a brown environment. So you are easily targeted by your enemy. That's the difference between natural. It's actually a good question. Thanks, Kakiso. Natural selection 
if I can put it in simple terms, is two species are competing to each other, and the other one will be outcompete if they don't have adaptation to 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 mechanism that will 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 will, will pro 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 will pro pro activate themselves to 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 have to continue in a in a but core evolution rather it's we help each other to evolve because i'm involving it's like you are in exam but it's an open exam you actually also now nah, the answer is this one and then you're able to 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 to, to show to the other yes yes that's also you can you can put it like that oh, natural selection it's actually the selection survival of the fittest the one who is fittest will will survive there's a competition but in co-evolution we adapt together so we help each other and then we will we will, we will go that's the, that's that, that's simple how you can put it like that yeah thank you and then the other one if we move forward, the creation of offspring by the fission of haploid gametes to form a zygote, which sorry, which is zygote, which is diploid. You also know this one. Fertilization. That's not bad. Yes. Another one. Another one said fertilization you are correct in your what you how do you say it in your allegation but the descriptive term is actually sexual reproduction as a matter of fact sexually sexual reproduction the creation of offspring by fission of hyploids and gametes because the creation creation how we were created so 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 offsprings offsprings are babies by the word of fusion and haploids coming to form a zygote which is a diploid it's actually sexual reproduction and 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 the 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 the, 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 the what will be the one by the means of 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 okay there's a question like that in the i wanted to ask you another question but there's a question like this previously and the male gamut this one is easy the easiest one yes it's a spam you're correct it's a spam yes yes the whole team got it yes and the 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 asexual uh, 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 production where there is a in which new individual ants from outgrowth existing one what is that who's that latoya well done latoya is actually budding you are correct it's budding yes and the one which the 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 the, the body breaks into several pieces some or all develop into complete adults what is it is the last one before we go to the it's actually a, a fragmentation I, I i can understand how so why you will say it's a replication it sounds like that but it's it's actually a a, a fragment fragmentation and yeah if it wasn't a one word question i don't think in if in a discussion you will you will be wrong but because it's a one word question answer question but the question it's fragmentation it's a replica it's, it's fragmentation rather than a replication let's go to the next question any question you want to ask about the 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 one that we just passed by. Well, 
So here's an interesting question. It says, compare the parent chima and oh, sorry, the parent chima and colon chima with regards to number one, structure and composition of the cell of the cell wall, its function. Number three, position in the in the plant. Anyone who can go for it? Let's call this question two. I'm doing this so that at the end of the day, I could, I could, I could, I could, I could send this to you. Is it fine? So how will you approach this? How will you approach this? Yes. Compare the parent timer, colon cam. Actually, it's actually, and it's actually 10 max, 10 max. Just an approach. Anyone who can just go and tell us as an approach, how can you approach this? Or where could this 10 max be for? How will you, how will you, Will you give the function of colon chima and parent chima? Will you give the position of pol pol parent chima and colon chima in the plants, the structure and everything? How will you answer this even if you're not giving the answer? Anyone? Let's see if this will work. No, it didn't work. Sorry. But that's the answer. So you're gonna have to differentiate between the the, 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 the structure of the composition of the cell of a, of a parent chima, of a parent chima, and of a colon chima, and also the structure of the cell of the 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 colon chima and parent chima, and also function of the colon chima and parent chima, which is like seems like this. Let's go. Let me see this one, this question. Where the structure of the of the of the parent chima, it's 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 thin, the parent chima is thin and flexible primary wall, most like secondary wall, and 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 yes, 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 yes. It has to be in a tabulate form, yes. Oh, you you don't necessarily have to to do in a man quarter. You don't necessarily have to be in a t t tabulation form. If you don't put it in a tabulation form, it's, it, it doesn't mean that they will, they will wrong you. But if they say tabulate, that's why it's a must for you to to draw a table. But this is just uh, 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 that it can, it can it can help you assist and assist you in in structuring your question in a manner that you can be able to present your answers like the structure of the cell because they said here yeah, they have mentioned that you need to prove also tell us about the structure and composition of the cell and then you will have to tell us the parent chima the structure of and composition of the cell wall is that it's thin flexible primary walls and most of the secondary walls and mostly they like secondary wall but colon colon chima is that it's elongated cell they have thicker primary walls was are uh, unevenly thickened. The function of a parent chima is to perform the most of the metabolic function, which is stored in starch. And this one, the colon chima, it provides flexible support without restraining growth, and it helps support young parts of the 
plant should and the position in the plants this is found the parent coming is found in the stems and in the roots and the the, the, the one for them colon karma is found in the young petiole and 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 in in that in 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 stems and in petioles all right then our next question would therefore be be and that that would be 10 marks if you you going so remember we once talked about the hormones we talked about we once talked about the the gonads and 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 the 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 adrenal gland, penile gland, and 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 adrenal gland and those follicle stimulating hormones. So you're gonna have to there will be a question such as name the hormones of these glands. Let me see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Yes, so 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 you don't need that. There are many functions there. So depending on what they and I will I will I will advise you to 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 put it for you to 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 name as many as you can because we're gonna be there is for the purpose of the max what they're saying for for function they're saying two four six and others where they're just uh, uh, giving the the balance for example for 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 numbers but if you have more function you can put the, that will actually help you in case if you didn't uh, if you go back to the question that we were talking about, if for some reason you did not know or you did not uh, 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 have as many about the structure and composition of the cell wall, but you place most of the functions there, so your examiner or the person who is marking can be a, 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 a little bit lenient on you, and you can be able to compensate the marks that you could have gotten from the structure and composition of the cell wall or the function. Like you have described there on the on the on the on the on, on, on when you're describing the function of that structure. All right, let's do this. So you know what? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let's work from here. Let me get out of that and come here. So you can see, yes. So here you see that the name of the hormones, 6.1, it's, it's actually the, 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 the gonads, you remember the gonads, where is the androgen, which is the function of this hormone for, 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 for which is responsible for testosterone, oestrogen, which is function for estradiol, progestin, which is function for the, responsible for progesterone. Then there is an um, adrenal gland, which is responsible for uh, uh, prin, no, 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 pin, pan, prin, oh, good Lord. And, uh, and you're going to have to know all of this. As much as you might be laughing at my 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 my, my pronunciation, then then glucocorticoids, which is responsible for cortisol, and mineral corticoids, which is responsible for aldosterone, and these are the uh, the hormones and their functions which are responsible for 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 these glands, and the last one will be penile gland, which is the melatonin hormone which is responsible for that. And describe the, 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 the way, you, I remember we talked about this in a previous, in a previous uh, a, 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 a session, I think it was a week before last week, where we were talking about the conduction, conversion, and, 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 and radiation and evaporation, because you can be able to, to, to think that they are the same. So there's a difference between conduction, conversion, radiation and evaporation evaporation is the removal of heat 
<laughs> the liquid surface that is losing some of its molecule to to gaseous states. So when 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 we talk about evaporation, it's not just a matter where you could say it's 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 it's, it's water which is being lost, but it's it's the transition. Whether it's the removal of heat, it's actually not the water which is being removed from 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 from. from 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 the surface because uh, that's the mistake that personally I used to make also that I think that but it's actually the heat which is removed from the surface of the liquid that is losing some of its molecule into gas it's cha it actually changed into gas state and conduction is the direct transfer of the thermal thermal motion heat between molecules of object in 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 a contact in 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 contact with each other as for example, we mentioned even the the, 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 the the example of a lizard, if you remember. Or for example, when a lizard sits on the hot rock, they are doing the conduction when they are transferring, doing the direct transfer of thermal motion, which is heat between the object. And convection is the, in, is the transfer of the heat by the movement of air or liquid past a surface, as when a breeze contributes to heat loss, to heat loss, from a lizard dry skin or when the blood moves heat from the body of core of the extremes uh, uh, of extremites and also lastly the radiation the radiation is the emission of electromagnetic waves by all objects warmer than absolute zero for example a lizard absorbs heat radiating from the distant sun and radiates from the smaller amount of energy to the surrounding air and any question with regards to that before I proceed? Nope. Then another question will be discuss the process of homeostasis. Anyone? Seven marks. So 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 homeostasis it's 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 it means steady state. We talked about this previously. To the maintenance of internal balance. Uh, so so in order to achieve homeostasis, animals maintain a, rel a relatively constant internal environment, even when the external environment changes significantly. For example, the human, but that's where we talk about pH and the ranges of pH. How do they range from which amount and which amount in order for them to, 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 to actually survive? So, so, so that's why we talk. For example, human body maintains fairly a constant temperature of about 87 degrees Celsius, which is 98 degrees Faraday, and a pH of the blood and the interstitial interst interst fluid within 0 to 0 0.1 pH unit of 7.4. So that's basically what homeostasis is. And I would prefer for you guys to actually, let me do this, to actually know what this Ah, I'm putting it in the into the things that I'm gonna send you because it's 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 very significant and I have seen it repeating itself from previous questions. So you might actually have to want to look at it actually more much more further than you did previously. I'm also gonna take this one as well. We're going to have to describe this and copy into the PDF with the PowerPoint, which I'm going to. OK, yes, a steady state of body system that living organism maintain and can perform by negative and positive feedback. That is also the, the, the that is also correct. That is also correct, Mankota. You're also true. Yeah, and and yeah. That will be, so 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 when you are, 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 are reading on your materials also when if you go and 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 look for other materials that will be be be, be also good and and your examiner one 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 be able to 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 and be able to penalize you for that and yeah that's a good answer distinguish between antigen and antibodies Antigen is any cell that elicits a response from a B cell to a T cell. What is a T cell? 
and therefore the antibody is the is is the is the is the they didn't put the marks there is the binding of the b cells antigen receptor to an antigen early uh, a, a step in a b cell activation and leading to the formation of cell that secret soluble from a receptor that is secreted by the antibodies remember we talked we touched a bit about the antibodies in our last slides when we were talking about this in a, I think it's a week before last week when we're doing some notes when we do distinguish between another question will be distinguish between regulators and conformers in terms of homeostasis we did talk about this as well where we're gonna have to check that an animal in a regulation we talk we talk about regulating about how some species or animal organism or regulate themselves in order to adapt to what is happening on the outside of the environment and the conformers are the ones that emulate or emit the the the, the 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 environment which is which is which is which is surrounding them because they don't have a choice so they have to 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 emulate what is on the outside but in a definition terms or point of view is that uh, an animal is a regulator for a particular environment variable if it uses internal mechanism to control internal change of the face of fluctuation but an animal is a conformer if particular environment variable it allows its internal condition to change in accordance with external changes in that variable so that's the difference between regulators and conformers but all of this you might actually need to look out that in order when he is giving you the 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 the, the, the the your exam you might actually mix this question here where you have to discuss the process of homeostasis and also said provide an example of animals which are conformers and animals which are regulators and then you might actually have to give those example with also this kind of descriptions whether if they are conformers or they are actually the 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 the, the, the regulator. How does it regulate itself if it's a, if if it's a it's it's a regulator? And in that sense, and modified roots and their functions. Modified the roots and their functions is if this exam if this comes in your exam, there are types of roots and their functions. Actually, types of modified roots. You've got prop roots, storage roots, aerial roots, buttress roots, and phenotropus by protecting. Uh, 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 the, okay, rather let me start here with the the, the buttress roots, with the uh, 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 aerial roots that look like buttress, such as the 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 seabed tree in Central America that give equatorial uh, uh, support to obtain oxygen. And also the, the 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 storage roots is as the name repeats itself. It store food and water in their roots. Prop roots they supply to the 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 support tall to heavy trees and help in that manner. So you need to actually go when you browse your study notes. You need to check also how the 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 differences between these modified roots. And these are not the only ones. There are other ones as well which are stated which are there where and you also have to describe also their function which how do they they they, 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 they function or how do they help into those uh, characteristics of common land plants common to all plants i think we did something a question like this in 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 in, in, in last week what am i doing characteristics of Characters are common to all land plants, where there's a apical meristem, multicellular dependent embryos, alternation of generation, and multicellular dependence of all the embryos. I, I wish I could have actually didn't show this and also just ask you this one. Compare a cell structure cell with a prokaryotic cell with a eukaryotic prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell and i wanted to see something 
if I didn't see this one, because this one we we all agree it's our it's our national anthem. It's gonna come. It will be there. We should expect it. Be, and when you expect it, know that it's gonna be there. We'll talk about a membrane in close organelle, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, peroxome, plasma membrane, cytosol, which are in the eukaryotes are present. This one here on the prokaryotic, they're absent. The Golgi apparatus are present in the eukaryote, they're absent rather there, and cytosol are present in both, 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 both cells. And another thing that you might need to notice is that he, your examiner might actually add another question where he said also uh, describe which features in the structure occurs or they are present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotic cell. Then for you're going to have to talk about plasma membrane, cytosol, cytosol, and, 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 and others, if there are others which are, which are present in, the, in, that, in that particular structure. Similarities between plants and green algae. We talk about algae last week. Uh, 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 they, 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 they both have eukaryotic cell. They both carry out photosynthesis. Cell wall made of cellulose, chloroplast, uh, chloroplast with chlorophyll A and B, and also others which are, are, are also are also there on the on the cone. The characteristic that define land plants are limited to, to the, is that a question? No. One quarter, no. If you check also the previous sessions, the, the, the in our notes, there were quite a few, there were quite a few more than this. So the characteristics which are which are and others that you can also, if you can just we which are, you can just also 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 mentioned by the view of observation. There are quite few of them, many of them which are there. They are is they are not limited to these ones only which are here. There are others which you need to to, to measure. So that's why in some previous question papers, if you come across some previous question papers in the memorandum, they will also state it and say a name only five, the best five, because they know that you are aware that the, 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 the characteristics are not limited to the one that they ask. Yes, yes, yes. Good for you, eh? Good for you, Mankota. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we'll ask, I'll, I'll revert again to asking a little bit of questions, and then you will give us the one that you read about. Yeah. Distinguish between radical, radial, and bilateral uh, 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 bilateral cemetery. We talked about this when we in our early, 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 early sessions previously. So, so a radi radial cemetery, any imaginary slide through central axis that divides the animal into mirror images. For example, we talked about sea animal. Even last week, there was a question like this, which we tackle, which does not have a left side or a right side. Therefore, the bilateral uh, cemetery is the one which only have one imaginary, imaginary card that divides to the animal into mirror images in the half and see even the question, the answer here, it has uh, 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 four marks. For example, lobster has a left and a right right side, which are divided into, into halves. Name three subphyla of the phylum codata and give example of, of, of each. So for this one, you might actually have to 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 to. to. We're talking about uh, phylum codata. We have the Eurocha data, which is Tinka. To Nikata, for example, we're talking about the C squared, uh, Cephalocordata, which is lancelet, which is talking about amphias, and we talk about vertebrata, for example, hike fishes, and all that. Four characteristics of Cordata, they got, they, 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 they have a notochord, they have dorsal, and they have half a, the hollow nerve cord, they're the pharyngeal g, g, g slits. 
gel slits, those fish which are the gel slits, and there's a muscular, the post, the anal tail. This one we have dealt with even last week, where we're talking about uh, is actually 10 mark question, where they're asking you to explain how photosynthesis harvests light, where you're going to have to to explain that photosynthesis. In some instance, you actually have to define what photosynthesis is. is composed of a reaction center complex, which is surrounded by several, several light harvesting complexes. The reaction center complex is organized association of proteins, which is holding a special pair of chlorophyll, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B and carotenoids bound proteins. And the number and variety of pigments molecule enable a photosynthesis stem to harvest the light over a large surface area. And in that large surface area, a large portion of spectrum then could be, which could be any single pigment molecule alone. Then together, these light harvesting complexes act as an uh, antenna for, a, for the reaction center complex. When a photon strikes a pigment molecule in a light harvesting complex, therefore the energy is passed through the molecules to to the molecule until it will reach the reaction center complex. And here an electron from a special pair of chlorophyll, uh, chlorophyll a molecule is transferred therefore to the primary electron acceptor, which therefore will form this harvesting of the, of, of the light. So that's how you have to approach the, 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 this question and also the description of this question. Remember when we talk here, we talk about points one, two, three, four, five, six, although it's not even five points, but you, you, you have to be as descriptive as you can so that the examiner can be able to, 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 to give you marks accordingly and they have to feel like 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 the, 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 you have done a thorough work to 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 explain what happens when there's a what happens when there's a harvest of of of, of photo photosystem into to the light explain the mechanism by which water rises in the plant to reach the leaves this also 10 months one of these questions will, will will appear, and when it appear, you don't need to 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 mess this. You need to grab them, and you need to squash them, and you need to grab them with all the 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 the, the, the anxiety and expectation as we are uh, uh, tackling them here. I explain the main mechanism by which water rises in the plant to reach the leaves. There's what we call adhesion. Remember, we talk about adhesion and cohesion and facilitate transport of water black bulk flow. So adhesion is the attractive force between water molecules and other polar substances. Because both water and cellulose are polar molecules, there is a strong attraction between water molecule and the cellulose molecule in the xylem cell wall. And you also need to know what this attraction is, this strong, this strong attraction between water molecules. You also need to know what it is. Cohesion is then, on the other hand, is the attractive force between molecules of the same substance. Remember also here, you also can, they could just say, de describe the, the differences between cohesion and adhesion in the in the in, in in a new question but they'll be asking about the same question but the cohesion is the attractive force between molecules of the same substances and uh, and 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 it is esti estimated that water's cohesive force within the xylem gives its tensile strength which is equivalent to that of the steel wire of a similar diameter therefore the cohesion of water makes it possible to pull a column of xylem sap which is a water that is dissolved in minerals from the above without the water molecule separating that's how the 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 the, 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 the mechanism in which water rises to the plant so it uses the process of cohesion and adhesion to 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 do those separation Then another question will be of an 
algae. You remember we talked about the algae last week? We did the disadvantages and advantages of algae, if you remember. The, the, if we can rather go through them again, it's it's they are rich in so if it's this is another this is another exam by the way this is another assignment this is another exam this is another question which appears somewhere and remember oh, I, I told you that sometimes we they can just say oh, um, why is algae important if they they, they 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 ask you to describe the importance of algae you might actually have to go through where we discuss about the important the disadvantages and advantages of algae then you just take the advantages and you, you 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 actually equate them and describe them as the importance of algae because here there's a, the advantages of the algae is that it's rich in proteins in mineral nutrients and can be used as fertilizers for better crops but the disadvantage on the other hand is that algae sometimes blocks sunlight from reaching the aquatic plants we talked about the fact that in the in the streams or in the aquatic inland or the the river or the dam or water or wetland or whatever there's aquatic animals and there's aquatic plants which need sunlight and this algae can there and sort of like be a, a, a canopy which stops and or blocks this sunlight so it differ also, it, uh, different kinds of algae is used in medication, cosmetics, livestock feed, and for pollu po po pollution. And hair algae causes death of aquatic animal due to what we call strangulation. Aquatic animals, as the benefit or as the advantage, benefit from the algae as they provide food for microorganisms on which fishes can feed on. So this algae can be as significant, but this algae can kill if it broke the sunlight, but it can also be used as a food source. The process of de deriving biofuel from algae is expensive and can be taken advantage of. It provides shades to, it also provides shades, but on the other hand, it can kill all because it's blocking the sun. But on the other hand, it's necessary because too much sunlight is not needed. So it provides a, 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 a aquatic a shade to the aquatic animal living in the ponds also enriches water with oxygen. It kills environmental beauty as the ponds covered in algae looks dirty and ugly. Then, 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 then distinguish between open and closed circulatory system and give example of animal in which it occurs. Also name three basic components of components which is common to 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 to, to both system this is also a, a huge amount of 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 of, of question which has got a lot of lot of and lots and lots and lots of lots and lots and lots of i almost said money but max <laughs> but either way is better than money so so open circulatory system Will be the circulatory fluid which is bathed which is bathed the organism directly so in these animals the circulatory fluid called hemelump hem hem is also the interstitial fluid that bathed the body source the contract the contraction of one or more hearts pump the hemelump through the circulatory vessel interconnected sinuses spaces surrounding the organs so, for example, anthropods and most other monarchs are example of this system. So you need to know exactly if they could just say example of open circulatory system. If for some reason the the, the question just say name the example of organism in the open circulatory system and closed circulatory system, where you can just mention that in the open circulatory circulatory open circulatory system, this anthropods and more smaller but in the closed circulatory system there are the animal which include annelids cellopods and all vertebrates but for the sake of this question they need you to explain what those open and closed circulatory system are and the chance that that is going to resurface once more where you're going to have to explain most of these and the circulatory fluid oh, in terms of closed circulatory system that's what we talk about a circulatory fluid called blood 
which is confined to vessels, vessels and is distinct from interstitial food. One or more has pumped blood into large vessels that branch into smaller ones that infiltrate uh, these organs. And we mentioned before that these organ of animals include annelids, cellopods, vertebrates, and uh, cellopods. And the, uh, the, the next stage of the question also said, also name the three basic components to common which are common in both system i think if my memory is serving me correct we also did a similar question like this last week which will be telling to most of you that it you, you might actually be greeted by it in your exam and when it greets you you should greet it back because it's it's it's, it's seven marks so the, the the things which are common to 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 uh, circulatory fluid, blood, sets of tubes which are blood vessels, and 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 and, and muscular pump. I think this one will pass it. Describe the preliminary systematic pump. Now you don't worry about this one. No, don't worry about this one. But either way, let's just tackle it. But it's uh, described the, the, the pulmonary and systematic system. The pumps of two seconds where, where, where it's, it's, it's group or combining to, to, to a single organ, which is a heart. And having both pumps with a single heart simplifies coordination on that cycle of pumping. So one pump on the right side is heart. And delay. so this question may, may, may. Um, they may also resurface it in the form of why, how do they heart pump or the circulatory system occurs inside of a, of a hump or of, of, of a heart when you are pumping the blood. So one pump on the right side of the heart deliver oxygen, poor blood to the capillary beds of the gas exchange tissues where there's a net movement of oxygen into the blood and the carbon dioxide out of the blood. We know that the oxygen has to be breathed in. The carbon dioxide, that's the one that has to be excreted out. This part of circulation is called pul pulmonary circuit. And if the culminary beds involved are all in the lungs, as it, rip, 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 as it is in reptiles and mammals, reptiles, for example, snakes, lizards, mammals such as uh, ass or bats, or polar beds or whatever and after the oxygen enriched blood leaves the gas exchange and it enters the other pumps and left on that and the, the left side of the heart that's on the left side the side of the heart the contraction of the pump propels this blood to to do the word propel is just you can say push or create a passage in which there will be a the good blood flow where this blood to the capillary beds in the in the in the organs and tissues throughout the body following the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide as well as the nutrients and the waste products the now oxygen poor blood returns to the heart completing this systematic circuit so uh, this question may also be like a, describe the cycle or the circuit the complete uh, system of a pulmonary uh, a pump in the systems and on the way there's a pumping of blood you're going to have to also explain it in this in this form describe the format of scientific names and explain why biologists use scientific names this was just in an introductory it was in an introductory session that we talk about uh, explaining why, why why scientists the scientists scientific names follow up scientific sets of rules scientists scientists use two sets of name called binomial naming system where they use this to study the diversity of life and the biologists use the classification system to name organs and the group them into a logical manner in which they could be able to to to, to classify them and be able to 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 classify them and in addition to the to the above question you also need to to also uh, 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 add to that to it that the the the, the binomial name system the names they are grouped into species 
and and they're going into 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 species and into order and into family and also maybe you need to you might need to explain how the arrangement or classification into the domains is is is, is classified according to kingdom uh, phylum order family genus all the way to to species you might also need to add that set of information right there and then discuss the 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 the, 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 the ecological importance of fungi or 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 advantages of fungi so this importance you can also fuse them if the question could just for some reason surface as 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 the importance or the the, the advantages or the benefits between fungi but the importance of them is that fungi as decomposes fungi as plant mutualism fungi as animal mutualism fungi as lichens so also so so you might find that here as decomposers they help as decomposers well adapted as decomposers of organic materials including cellulose and lignin lignin of plant cells or almost any carbon containing substance such as jet to foil and house paint can be consumed by this or by some fungi fungi as plant mutualism all plants studied to date appear to have a symbiotic endophytes and then for the, the, the fungi that live inside the leaves and other parts of the plants without causing any harm so endophytes benefit the certain grasses and other woody plants by making toxins that deter herbivores or by increasing host plant tolerant to heat or drought or heavy metals that can dis destroy those plants but also in, in, in animal mutualism it helps break down blood bacteria it helps break down the plant material in the in the in the in the in in, in the guts of a cattle and other grazing mama lichens highly integrate symbiotic association of fungi and algae or cyanobacteria together List five difference, differences between monocolodenous and dicolodenous. Remember this, though, is also in your tutorial letter. If you look at your tutorial letter, you'll find this question is there on your first assignment that you did this year. Unless if I'm mixing groups, or I'm confusing you to last year group, but I'm sure if you check in your tutorial letter, you'll also find this, 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 this question where there's one. Cotyledon, Dico to Cotyledon. The in the mono is the, the veins are parallel, but in the Dico the veins are net like. In the mono the vascular tissues are scattered, but in the Dico the vascular tissues are in a are in a formation of a ring. The fibrous root system in the mono the tabroot are present in the Dico. In the mono there are pollen green with one opening and the pollen green with three opening in the Dico. And that's it for this one. Any question up to so far? Okay, I want us to do that because I saw the, the 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 questions were there, which were indication of the of the structure of a fan. I'm gonna do this. The structure of a fan, where they are asking you to draw the structure of a fan. Just want to show you the you all can see this. Just show by your thumb if you can. 
Yes, yes. I'm glad. Draw the structure of a fan, and by means of life cycle, life cycle of a fan, where you're gonna have to 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 describe. Remember, I told you that you need to 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 to, to also explain by the means of 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 of, of arrows which one is coming to which direction is going to so manual drawing is preferred than than copy and paste if copy and paste the penalty will give six out of 15 marks so whew. so you're gonna have to 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 draw it in the context of this question but the life cycle starts here. Here's the, the sort of like the keys they are telling you about the haploid, which is N, and diploid, which is 2N. And the, st the life cycle starts here, where the sporangia releases the spores for, of the fan. The spores of the fan. And most fan species produce a single type of a spore that develop into a bisexual photosynthetic gametophyte, which are these boys, which are this haploid there, yeah, and young gametophytes here. Yeah. And this one, there's, there's, there's a process of meiosis. Go and, and, and read and about the differences between meiosis and mitosis. What is the different part there? And this is the mature gametophyte, gametophyte, and this which will transition into antheridia, antheridium. This one is the archegonia, and you can see inside the archegonium there is a egg, and you can see these little fellas here, which are the sperm cells. And in two, there's although this illustration shows and the egg and the sperm from the same gametophyte, a variety of mechanism promotes cross fertilization between these gametophytes. And then here you see there is a fertilization, which, which here it starts as a cross fertilization between these gametophytes, although they are coming from the same, 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 same egg and the same, 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 spam. I see there's a, is it a question or is it a comment? Let me go. Okay, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Yeah. Uh, when the 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 therefore this one uh, uh fertilization, and then the sperm uses flagella to 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 swim from the antheridia to egg. Remember when they could just say they 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 they, they could just also give you a, a question for one word term where they say, uh, 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 what is used. Although the object that the 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 the, the, the organelle or think that the sperm used to swim from the antheridia to eggs in the antheridia, you might actually have to say flagella. So each and every detail here is important because they might resurface it or they might bring it back in the form of multiple question or whatever or in the one word terminology. Then the zygote here in the gametophyte where it forms a new sporangia, the zygote develops into a new sporophyte, and the young plant grows up from the archegonium of its parent and the gametophyte. And therefore, this one will be flagellated, and you see the mature sporophyte, which is 2N, which is uh, diploid now. And even this zygote is diploid here. And then number five, so you will find that on the underside of the spor sporophyte, the reproductive leaves are spots called sori. Each sori, sorus, is the cluster of the sporangia, where there's a sorus, sporangia, and sporangium, which are produced via meiosis and then there's a spore disposal. When there's a spore disposal, the whole circle resurfaces again. Any question? I don't know how, but also the, because I see most of the question, especially in one word questions, in this in, in the description or definition of the term of terminology 
it's coming back a lot. This this the double fertilization, the cross fertilization, the the the, the flagella, the zygote, the antherigium, the sporangium, the 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 they somehow are appearing on this. No question with regards to the, this life cycle of a fan. All right, let's move on and then we're gonna go. Let me try to check the question for Manko. Going back with the groups of land plants and the question says name them. Land plants and give example. What are the example? Okay, let me try to go back to the question. There should be an examples there. Say so land plants, we, we tackle it here. Characteristics to 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 common. This is the one that we did, which are common to 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 all plants. And did it say also mention the examples in the question? Are you talking about the question that we did, or a different question that you have seen? Yeah. So if generally, if they're just talking about any 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 land plants. So you can you can also use the the like the one that we talk about the life the the the, the fence the bryophytes the the, the 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 also this moses and the 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 the, the 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 any types of plants which are found in the in the land but you should also call it okay I haven't gone through the 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 the, the question in assignment two sorry and all that but if they just mention that you should just place only the, the the characteristics you just put all the characteristics that we were talking about of 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 apical marista wall spores which are produced in the sporangia and also the 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 multicellular gamma gamelangia and multicellular but if they ask you about the the, the 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 example also you can give them about the bryophytes the ferns the mosses the 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 confires and the liverhood things latoya for, for 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 indulging us in that sense. I hope I'm making sense. Let's do one more time this terminologies because these ones they can be tricky a bit. Then we're gonna go again to one long questions again. Give the correct scientific okay I don't think we're gonna give the correct scientific terminology of each term below write the number correct to the to the to the book on the answer and the question is an organism that is capable of heterotrophy okay wait a scientific term an organism that is capable of both heterotrophy and photosynthesis the ion containing protein that transport oxygen to the blood what is it? We we talked about this distinguish between cheating. Remember, we talk about cheating and peptidyl again, where we are gonna talk the 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 cheating is structural polysaccharides consisting of amino sugar monomers found in many fungal cell walls, and it's responsible for building material of their cell wall. And peptidyl again is a type of polymer in a bacterial cell wall consisting of modifies sugar cross linked with short polypeptide and this one it includes the entire bacterium and anchors other molecule which is extended to the to the surface and we did this i think last week where we talk about the discussion between is there a question okay is the answer about the hemoglobin thank you compare phototrophy and chemo heterotrophy Still remember when we talk about this? Yes, no. And photoautotrophy is an organism that harness light energy to drive the synthesis synthesis of organic compound from carbon dioxide. In most of the cases, we're talking about the water, talking about the water, and 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 and, and they feed themselves and the entire living world. And chemoheterotrophy are organisms that require organic molecule for both energy and 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 carbon. We did talk about the the, the gram positive. This is a different paper. We talk about the gram positive and the gram negative. So the eukaryotic cells, 
gram positive and gram negative is a national anthem. So you're gonna find them waiting for you. So when you find them waiting for you, you should they should know that you were the actually it is you who were waiting for them. And then you have to 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 grab this 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 question with all the minds, which have them we'll talk about them with thick wall. This one has a thick thin layer. of the peptidogen, pept pept which located between the plasma membrane and outer membrane. And this one is the crystal of in the, in the, in the, in the, in the cell wall where it forms complex of the iodine stain and, 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 and the gram negative, which results in suffering in dye stains with the cell pink or red. And this one is a valid blue mask, uh, mask the red seraphim dye, and the complex is too large to pass through the the, the thick wall. And as we go further, oh, sorry about that, what am I not doing? Compare the sclerenchyma and carenchyma. This is a, 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 a different paper with regards to structural wall function and position of the plant we were doing that just now we're going to pass that distinguish between bry bryophytes and petridophyte bryophytes or, or petridophytes are vascular plants with xylem and ploy that reproduce the disperse via and that reproduce and disperse via the spores whereas the dominant phase in bryophytes is gametophytes while the dominant phase in the petridophyte is sporophyte bryophytes also have no vascular tissues while the peptidrophytes have vascular tissue these are the differences between the 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 the, 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 the bryophytes and peptid low fights so in another format if, if maybe you don't it's not gonna come but you need to to to, to change this dominant phase where you talk about gametophyte then sporophyte where this one bryophyte has vascular tissue this one has no have do indeed have vascular tissues and these are the differences which you need to 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 to, to look out for when you are working on 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 all of this therefore as we continue further distinguish between pollination and fertilization if we didn't do this last week then before we did it a week before last week where we talk about the the, the, the pollination and fertilization pollination it did came in a form of a one word or multiple choice is the process whereby pollen grains move from the from the other sorry about that the pollination is the process whereby pollen grains move from the other from 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 from, from, from other to the stigma on the flower style while fertilization is the fusion of the male garments and female eggs to form a, 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 a new plant seed the pollination proceeds fertilization and depends on 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 such things such as media as wind water and insects so 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 pollination uh, it depends on this kind of uh, external factors which need to to to, to play a, a role in affecting the the the, the propagation of the the the, the, the fertilizer the, the, the pollination and pollination take place externally while fertilization occurs internally or inside the flower and does not depend on the external on the external vector by means of a diagram explains explain the process of double fertilization in the flowering plants these are one of the diagrams that you might actually have to look for but this one was uh, 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 done see by 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 by, by pen in the form of drawing that it is expected from you guys when we talk about this uh, process of a uh, of a for 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 double fertilization of plants in the midst of diagram where the embryo this is diploid where there's an also an endosperm where there's a seed coat which is also a double 
double double da, 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 the double haploid and this one also a diploid not rather right, right, double haploid this is the diploid and the nucleus of the developing endosporangium which is also inside here and then the zygote and here you can see in the egg of the uh, the, the nucleus where there's a fertilization which is going and then the double fertilization occurs one sperm fertilizes the egg forming the zygote the the or the other sperm fertilize the the, the 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 central cell forming the endosperm a food supply which is on the three end in this example the discharge of sperm in the nuclear here is also happening in the egg nuclear so there's also a zygote diploid in the fertilization and the nucleus which are developing in the in the in the nucleus and i hope you can be able to look out for for this and as we go forward distinguish between 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 malnutrition and and the nutrition we talk about malnutrition and and nutrition attempts often use closely to refer the condition where the person is not getting a, a balanced diet. These are one of the questions that your examiner may just throw it. Yeah, because always in an exam, there's that exception of that question, which is sort of like a outlier, which is going to be getting there to 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 put up a balance why you're gonna have to 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 have an a, an output of an explanation in terms of the 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 practical uh, explanation of all of this which are we are doing we're studying so this however malnutrition could technically be both under a uh, well over nutrition as such as obesity or condition that is a result of malnutrition although we touch it there's a question like this in blg 1501 where we talk about obesity where we talk about dietitian which i touched in the last session when in, in blg 1501 those who attended is similar to this one where you're going to have to check the, the the differences between malnutrition and undernutrition which he, he, they're, they're, they're really similar like the same but they the, the are often uh, conditions which a person is not particularly getting a balanced diet where the technically both are under as well as overnutrition such as or diseases such as obesity and condition that are resulting in one of these name the three enzyme involved in the digestion of carbohydrates and where they are found so the enzymes which are amylase, pepsin, trypsin, lapsase, amylase, sucrose, and these are the digestive juices and the part of the body which those enzymes are found. The amylase is found in the mouth in a form of saliva. The pepsin is in the stomach in the form of gastric juice. The trypsin, lapsase, or amylase, which are in the form of pancreases and pancreatic juice and the sucrose or lactase uh, maltase which is in the small intestine we touch a bit about this in blg 1501 where we're talking about biological micro molecules another question here which is about uh, endocytosis and pinocytosis i want to pass that i want to talk about diffusion and uh, osmosis diffusion is the movement of particles of any substances so that they spread out into the available space whereas osmosis on the other hand is the is the diffusion of free water across selectively permeable membrane whether artificial or, cell, or, or in a cellular manner explain also the process of, of osmoregulation Osmoregulation is the process in, 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 in of the maintenance of salt and water balance, which is called osmotic balance. They will put also that as a question in one terminology where you're going to have to know and underline when you study about this across members within the body's fluids, which are composed of water plus electrolyte and non-electrolytes, which are 
uh, electrolyte which is a, 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 a solute that dissociate into ions when they are dissolved in, 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 in water. The other question which is involving a structure of or a life cycle, life cycle of a, of, 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 of a pine, or life cycle of a of a, uh, you find that the the the, the, the three uh, segregate into sporophyte and gametophyte into the generation during the process of reproduction. The two stages occurring then again is called. You see, they can explain. You can also explain the the the, the life cycle without a means of diagram, but which is rather hard because you're going to have to, 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 to describe, but you can also do that. But I prefer that even when you're explaining, you can just put a diagram where you are explaining the words, but using the arrows so that you can be able to have the, 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 the whatever that you, you are writing has like a structure which a person can follow through. Otherwise, your language or your writing has to be very, very, very in a proper state where somebody can follow it up through. Then sporophyte. Sporophyte is a diploid phase and has a multicellular stage of blood cycle, life cycle. It grows from zygote to deliver when a haploid cell is fertilized by a haploid sperm, and every sperm cell consequently has two copies of every chromosome. Where those that that, that the sporophyte is a phase in which the spores are produced by the process called meiosis, and they, which is a reduction or division that desperately decreases the quantity the quantity of, 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 of the, the chromosome in the spores mother cell by half of the Buspos and gametophytes are usually haploid, which means they have one copy of the of every chromosome. And when we talk about the, the, the now, when we're talking about the gametophyte, in the gametophyte phase, the gametes are produced. This stage starts when the development of spores, formation of spores will be occurring by meiosis again and the spot form are uh, also haploid than mitosis. That's the difference here because in the sporophyte it was meiosis. But here mitosis occurs in the spores and the cells of multicellular arrangement are additionally haploid by the procedure called mitosis. This multicellular arrangement generates haploid female and male gametes at the point when the female gametes are turned out and they interwine, fertilize and results in haploid. Elements and the rest is just a explanation of how the structure go like. Let me check how much the marks they didn't indicate the marks where 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 there will be procedures such as the megaspore which develop into female gametophyte that contains two or three archegonia. And by the time the eggs mature, the sperm cells have developed, will develop into pollen tube, which extend to the female gametophyte, where there will be for fertilization, which occurs on the egg and nuclei uh, 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 unite all the way to the or when the oval becomes seed consisting of an embryo food supply that seed of the of the seed coat. Yes, they do. Let me look for the. They do. Let me look for uh, for the notes. Remember, I think we talked about this. But when they usually when they ask them, they they, they hardly uh, require the, the 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 examples. But yes, they do. I remember remember when the species obtain chemicals, and when they talk about the 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 the, the autotrophs. Uh, the autotroph. This is the like uh, the distinctive uh, 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 example of how the 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 the, 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 the autotrophs because the example here is heterotroph and ex uh, the, the the main source here it's autotroph and heterotroph where they will talk about you have to talk about energy source carbon source and type of organism so where we talk about photo autotroph and the example is cyanobacteria which are plants you carried with the chemoheterotroph, which is sulfobos and begiotoa, begi begi and in terms of the heterotrophs, where well, you're going to talk about photoheterotrophs, where it's called examples are unique to certain aquatic salts involving prokaryote, rhodobacter, chlorophyll, and also in terms of chemo 
metrotros where we talk about many programs which is clostridium animals and fungi which are involving to some some plants mr nilufule thank you so 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 much um excellence seems to be your forte thank you so much students thank you so much for joining us today especially for remaining until the end we really do appreciate that students please do take note of the comments in the chat box regarding your upcoming examination and the support that UNISA can offer you do take note of that this then brings us to the end of our session we will then see you next week same time same place Thank you.